Welcome to Friends of BNSF, an important bridge connecting Galveston Island to mainland Texas and vital to international commerce was replaced by a new structure in February. In a joint effort, the United States Coast Guard, Galveston County, BNSF and a team of contractors replaced the old bascule drawbridge with a new vertical lift span. The Galveston Bridge is the connection point between Galveston Island and mainland Texas. The bridge is an intersection of both marine traffic on the intercoastal waterway and freight rail service to Galveston. The Galveston Bridge is a very important bridge to BNSF uh, because it uh, serves the, the uh, ports of Galveston. We run about 15, 16 trains a day into the uh, ports here and so it's a very, very important franchise for us. The original Causeway Bridge was completed in 1912 and carried both auto and rail traffic. The rail service primarily moved cotton and other exports to the port of Galveston. Higher road construction volumes led to the construction in 1938 of an adjacent causeway for vehicles, leaving the original causeway and bridge for rail traffic. Over the years, marine traffic on the intercoastal waterway continued to grow. Today, an average of 60 marine vessels pass under the drawbridge. Although the bascule structure was built as recently as 1988, the 109-foot channel opening became inadequate for commercial shipping. In 2001, the Coast Guard deemed the bridge a navigational hazard, meaning it sustained collisions with marine traffic on a regular basis. It's a navigation channel and it was hit very, very frequently because of the opening. There was only 109 feet of uh, clearance, horizontal clearance for, for the mariners. The replacement of the bridge is financed primarily through the Truman Hobbs Act and American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. The Truman Hobbs Act was an act passed by Congress in the early 1940s. And the intent of that is to identify bridges that are unreasonably obstructive to navigation. And so typically they're older bridges that were, and they were constructed, met the reasonable needs of navigation. And at, through time, nature of the traffic traversing the waterway has changed. And so it's become an unreasonably obstructive bridge. The Galveston Bridge Project began in 2010, and it involved the construction and installation of a new lift span, modification of two concrete arch spans, a new power and control system, and the replacement of two water lines 